In today's tutorial, we're learning how to make this really cool text pop-out effect in PowerPoint all the way from scratch. And I think it really livens up your presentations and your images in your slides. So let's see how we do this. And here we're starting from a blank slide. Now, first I want to go to layout and choose an entire blank slide to work with. Right click, format background, and let's give this a nice gradient fill. So I'm using gradient fill with two stops. Normally you'll have something like this to start from, remove the stops until you have two. And for one, I'm going to give it a nice yellow color. And for the other one, I'm choosing a orange tint. Select the circular and center focus. So we have the light part in the middle. That's what we want to achieve. Next, I'm going to add a picture to the slide of a dog. Now it's important that we have two things for this image. One, it has a transparent background. So you can see it here. It has no background. You can, remove the, you can use the background remover tool in PowerPoint or Canva or anywhere that you like. And secondly, is that we have some sort of an nice area where we could make a cut so the image is not too wide and it should sort of fit in that letter with some borders on the side so i'll show you how to do that let's add some text to the slide so i'm going to text box and drag it on the screen type in the word dog or any word that you like make it white and now you can increase it to 96. you'll see this is the larger that you can go unless you click on that increase font size button and we can go quite large till let's say 400. center it in the middle and place it slightly upwards I'm going to choose a bold font, Montserrat, and then I'm choosing, let's go for semi-bold. You can see it's shifting to another line, so I'm going to make it slightly smaller. Let's try 400 or 385. Oops, 385 that is. There we go. I think this will work quite well. Position the word in the middle of your slide, and now we readjust the image of the dog until it nicely fits in. You can make it larger, it can even come on top of the letter, but it's important that we have an area where we see the background still on two sides. That's going to be our crop mark. Now I'm going to copy this image. Oops, copy, so Control C, Control V to create a duplicate on top. Paste it on exactly the same spot. And now we right click, crop, and then we adjust the crop mark until we have that line where we see both of the edges. So it nicely jumps through. If you don't do that and you crop it like somewhere halfway like this, it will look a bit wonky. So we don't want that. We want that clean cut. Now to make it really jump out extra, I'm going to select the text, go to text options and give it a nice shadow. So like a little bit of a drop shadow, drop shadow to the bottom right. Increase the blur to make it a bit softer and same with the transparency. Now we can also do the same for the image. So select that top part only of the image and then add a drop shadow, but this time to the top right. So it nicely casts on that letter. Now we want to increase the blur and we don't want to have that line that we create here. So for that, I'm going to also increase the distance and then play around with the transparency. So it doesn't have to be too much. It has to be just a little bit. Maybe that distance was too much. So I'm going to tone it down just a bit and then increase the blur. So it's a very subtle cast that we get. And now let's play this on full screen. And this is how you can create this really cool text pop out effect in PowerPoint in just a few minutes. But I think it really makes your images stand out that much more. So thanks a lot for watching the tutorial. And if you want to master the design principles and really become a professional slide designer, I have a 30 day program that you can follow and will master the fundamentals of slide design. So if you want to access that, you can buy it via the link in the description below. See you in the next video.